Hi, this is John. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm talking to you about the two most difficult body parts to overtrain. Number one, by far and away, your quads, your quadriceps and your thighs, the front of your thighs. Here's the thing about that. When you go to train your legs on a dedicated leg day, your quads specifically, and you do leg extensions, leg press, squats, I mean, any one of those, hack squats, uh, lunges, all of those, any of those, all those combinations thereof, you've trained your quads. The rest of your training cycle and all of your other body parts, with the exception of doing regular powerlifting style, conventional deadlifts, all the rest of them do not involve hardly any quad work whatsoever. So there's not much overlap. So what we're talking about is you have the ability to train your quads intensely and then they can rest virtually entirely until the next time you go to train your quads, which is a good thing. That's what we want. We want to be able to train hard and then back off, rest, and then grow. Recover, then grow. That's about it. There's just no overlap with a whole bunch of other exercises that you can do in standard conventional bodybuilding routines. I'm not talking about doing Olympic lifting. I'm not talking about doing power cleans, you know, snatches and all of that in addition to your regular bodybuilding training. I'm simply talking about doing your standard bodybuilding routine. Back work of all types, bent over rows, T-bar rows. Yeah, your thighs are being used to hold you in place but they're not involved with a lot of movement. So a minor static hold to hold you in place. But for the most part, your quads are only getting hit seriously hard and directly during that dedicated leg workout that you do for them. The rest of the time, not much overlap, which is very good. So number one, muscle that's difficult to overtrain. That would be your quadriceps. The other one I'm going to toss out to you, which I don't know too many people think about this one, your pecs your chest. So here we go. On National Chest Day, which is usually Mondays, let's assume you've trained your chest and you've done all of the standard bodybuilding exercises. Your bench presses, your incline presses, your flies of all types. And then you go on to do other body parts. Hopefully, hopefully you're training your triceps in that same workout. And the reason I say that is because your triceps, your elbows are fully warmed up and they're ready to be hit pretty hard at that point. So that's pretty good if you want to hit them right then and there. Unfortunately, if you don't train them right there in that one workout, then you're going to go later on in the week and you're going to, if you do your triceps with anything other than isolation exercises. So isolation exercises are tricep pushdowns, they're dumbbell dumbbell French presses, uh, easy curl French presses of all type. Those isolation exercises are not going to involve much chest work. What does? When you go to do a compound movement like close grip benches or dips for your triceps, now you're getting your chest involved to a degree when you already trained it on Monday on National Chest Day. So indirectly you're going to get a extra chest work on that tricep workout if you choose to do compound exercises in your tricep workout on a different day other than your chest day. So that's why I say the best would be to do it on the same day. So out of all of the body parts involved in your body, the major body parts, now I'm not talking about a section of a muscle. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about major body part work your quadriceps and then your chest are the two least likely to overtrain. If you leave out compound exercises for your triceps entirely, then you literally can train your triceps on a different day and your chest will only get uh, direct work and indirect work pretty much only on that chest workout that you do on International Chest Day. And therefore, it would be comparable to your quadriceps as far as the difficulty in overtraining that muscle group. So that's it, my take on it. The two 
toughest muscle groups to overtrain, your quadriceps and your pecs. From my heart to you, John Hart, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below and feel free to comment on this video.